Microchips have a very short history. <clears throat> the earliest designs went back to the early 1950s. And here, today, less than 60 years later, they are ubiquitous. They are in everything. Soon they will be in medicine. I predict they will be in food. And one day, microchips and human beings will integrate as biomechanical organisms. Now, as a geek, I find this very interesting. But this speech is not about science or science fiction. Have you ever gotten a song stuck in your head and shared it with someone? Hours later, you hear from them. Great, now I can't get it out of my head either. Well, I want to do that sort of thing with you. But it's not about a song. It's just about the most important question man can ask and answer. Fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, the question is, who wrote the code? You see, microchips are made up of a very small set of periodic table elements. They are meticulously designed, manufactured, and processed by scientists, engineers, and technicians. The slightest error in this processing and the microchips will not function. But they still need a detailed instruction set telling them what to do. Binary logic, ones and zeros, flow through the register of microchips, giving them the function and purpose. Can we all agree that it takes a very large set of intelligent men and women to design and develop these microchips and the code behind them? Okay. What if I told you a large group of scientists are coming up with a compelling theory that microchips and the code behind them are not created by man, but yet come about through evolution and natural selection. The molecules that make up microchips just spontaneously form out of the atmosphere and combine into these semiconducting devices. A random series of ones and zeros came along and gave them form and purpose, or function and purpose. You think this is a compelling theory. Do you think it makes any sense at all? Do you think it would be the dominant theory taught in our colleges and education system? The evolutionist theory is, four and a half billion years ago, young planet Earth was completely engulfed in a shallow primordial sea. Molecules from the atmosphere were collected into this sea, and they just magically bonded together and formed the original single living cells, protozoans. Millions of these protozoa populated the waters, fed off the bacteria, and became self-sufficient. This is the source of all living organisms on the planet today. That's the theory of evolution. The creationist theory, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 and 2, and went on to create Adam and Eve. Which is correct? Which is more compelling? Which is the dominant theory taught in our schools to our children? Deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. This is the biological code the biological instruction set telling all living organisms their function and purpose. This is a prokaryotic bacteria cell, one of the simplest living single cell organisms. This is possibly one of the original organisms in that early primordial sea. Look at the center, DNA. All living organisms have DNA. DNA is infinitely more complex than anything man's ever come up with. Simple binary logic versus the many logic states that DNA has. DNA appears to be intelligence itself. It adapts. It figures things out. It does evolve. Microevolution, not macroevolution. The junk part of DNA that scientists will thought was junk, it turns out it's not junk. They recently discovered it has something to do with timing. 
but they can't quite figure it out because it seems to be moody. Let me put it to you this way. If a married stud such as myself can't figure out women, how are these dateless geeks going to figure out intelligent, moody biological code? You ever worried that fish you ate the other night was a distant relative? You ever think your boss is proof we evolved from apes? <laughs> Ladies, are men not proof that we have not evolved at all? <laughs> you ever wonder, is there a God? Well, ask a Darwinist. Don't ask a pastor, a rabbi, or an imam. They're biased. Ask an evolutionist one simple question. Who wrote the code? Thank you.